The WRC board replaces the original counter of your B77. Installation is super simple and requires no soldering or special knowledge of electronics. First of all, remove the head block cover by pulling it outwards. Now, remove the pinch roller. Unscrew the central screw and remove the cover. Remove washers and pinch roller. Keep track of the direction of rotation and the order and number of washers. Will come in handy during final reassembly. If your B77 is equipped with the variable speed option, remove the relative knob by pulling it forward. Remove the five screws that secure the front panel to the frame and remove the panel. Push the pinch roller pin upward in order to raise the reed head cover while pulling the front panel forward. Now remove the counter belt. It can be cut or removed from the plate. To do it, remove the plate and manually loosen the brake to extract the belt. Now you can remove the original counter unscrewing the two screws. Place the recorder face down on a soft surface and remove the back cover by unscrewing the four screws. Identify the connector under the upper left circuit board, it's a 9-wire plug, first wire is orange. Unplug the connector from the board. Notice that, in order to prevent wrong insertion, one pin is intentionally missing. Plug the original connector you just disconnected, to the CN1 connector on the WRC flat cable. Now insert the CN1 plug into the original socket under the circuit board. Put the recorder in vertical position and identify the connector over the upper left circuit board. It is a three-wire plug, first wire on the right is white. To prevent wrong insertion one pin is intentionally missing. Unplug it from the board and connect it to the CN2 connector on the WRC flat cable. Finally, insert the CN2 plug into the original socket over the circuit board. Make sure that it does not touch the back of the take-up reel motor. Take the third connector at the other end of the WRC flat cable and slip it into the opening in the chassis. Slip it just under the solenoid arm, in order to make it appear on the front side of the recorder. Make sure it does not interfere with the solenoid arm movement. Now connect the WRC board. It is provided with two spacers and two screws. Put the spacers into the original counter holes. Gently tighten the spacers with pliers. Make sure you do not over-tighten or they can break inside the holes. 
plug the connector you just made come out from the front on the recorder into the back of WRC board. Finally secure the WRC board to the chassis using the two provided screws. Replace the back cover and tighten the four screws. Connect power cable to the recorder and switch it on. The display should turn on and show setup mode after power on sequence. Perform the initial operations in reverse to reassemble the front panel and parts. Remember to push the pinch roller pin upwards when installing the front panel so that the head cover remains in the correct position.